to call this stuff oil. It's not oil. So whenever anyone asks me as leader of the Green Party, are you people against all pipelines? I answer the same way every time. Absolutely not. It depends what's in the pipeline. And that's a basic point. What's in the pipeline? In this instance, they propose to ship something. I'm sure you've heard the term dilbit. Bitumen mixed with diluent. Let me describe what this is all about before I get too deeply into what was in Kinder Morgan's evidence. Bitumen is not only as the uh, fanciful, I have to describe the, the Enbridge report uh, from the National Energy Board, the, Enbridge, the NEB review on Enbridge, and their proposal to go to Kitimat and ship oil uh, bitumen out from there. Uh, I think the National Energy Board was fanciful in describing bitumen as a material that, quote unquote, does not flow easily. You betcha, it's a solid. I, uh, I've done press conferences and, and thankfully someone in the industry actually gave me a jar of bitumen and a jar of bitumen mixed with diluent, which makes the point quite clearly. You can turn the bitumen upside down and nothing flows. Why would you try to put something solid through a pipeline? Well, you can't unless you make it flow. Now there's two ways to make bitumen flow. One is the smart way and one is the dumb way. The, the smart way is to do what Peter Lougheed had in mind when he envisioned the development of the oil sands of northern Alberta. Uh, Peter Lougheed had a lot of principles. I loved his first rule for Alberta in relation to the oil sands was, quote unquote, think like an owner. That hasn't been followed since um, Lougheed left and Ralph Klein took over and then uh, the Alberta course towards rip this stuff out of the ground as fast as possible and ship it to someone else became kind of their, their approach to their, their economy. But the smart way is to build an upgrader which takes bitumen and turns it into something called synthetic crude. Hence the name of the company Syncrude. Syncrude is synthetic crude. And you can put synthetic crude through a pipeline because it's going to flow because it's liquid by that point. Now once it's, once it's upgraded to synthetic crude, the, the most logical thing to do is in Alberta, put it in a refinery and then use those products within Canada. So let's get back to the bitumen mixed with the diluent. What is diluent? It's actually not a chemically known term. It can mean anything. It's basically stuff that dilutes other stuff. So diluent as a term uh, it can mean a number of different chemical compositions. It's not a, it's not a defined chemistry term. Uh, it is essentially fossil fuel condensate uh, if you're familiar with naphtha, kind of a volatile material that's fossil fuel condensate, which, at least in Enbridge's submission to the National Energy Board for their uh, Northern Gateway project, they explained they planned to ship in from Saudi Arabia. That's why they wanted to do a twin pipeline. They'd have one direction taking the, the diluent from Kitimat to Alberta. Anyway, uh, so obviously Trans Mountain or Kinder Morgan is going to be buying diluent from somewhere. It's a naphtha type of fossil fuel condensate, but they add things. They add benzene, which causes leukemia, and they add butane, which I think is interesting because I don't know why you'd want to add lighter fluid, but they, they do, to make it lighter, to make it flow.